What's up everyone? This is Asadullah Chaudhary and in today's lesson I'm going to talk about JavaScript hoisting. So what is JavaScript hoisting? The JavaScript hoisting is a default behavior of JavaScript. Whenever you use any variable or function without declaration, the JavaScript hoisting declare that variable or function at the top of that specific scope. So as you know, we have uh, two kind of scopes in JavaScript. The first scope is window scope, which is called global scope. And the second scope is function scope, which is called a local scope. So if you are using any kind of variable or any function without declaration inside any scope, the JavaScript hosting will put the declaration on the top of that specific scope. So now let's go ahead and uh, do some examples. First, I have to create a file and I would like to save this file inside some directory. JS hoisting. The first file will be index.html. I need another file and this time it's going to be my JavaScript file. I'm going to name it script.js. Let's quickly generate some markup. Time to reference my script file. Script source and source is going to be .js, script.js. Okay, so let's suppose I define, I declared a variable over here at the top and I name it x and it's containing some value which is 25. I'm going to alert this value in the browser. So all I have to do is to write alert and pass this value to this alert function. So let's open it up in our browser. Here's a little box and it's 25. It's working. Always remember whenever you declare something outside the function, it automatically becomes global. So the global scope is called the window scope. What I mean to say is this x variable now belong to window object i mean if i can i can even write window dot x and it will give me the same result refresh and same result without any errors okay so now let's uh, make it a little interesting On line number one, I just initialize a variable with 25. I did not declare it. And on line number four, I'm going to use it. Alert x. It will still give me the same result. Why? Because it's a global variable. And all the global variables are, all the global variables or functions belong to window object. Refresh and 25 again. And I can again alert this value using the window object. Refresh 25, same value. So if you notice, I just uh, use this variable and assign it some value, which is 25. And I uh, displayed its value in alert box. On line number 5, let's declare it var x this is called variable declaration so even though i declared the variable on line 5 but it will still give me the value on line number 4 without declaration actually it is declared it has been declared already so this is the interesting part if i go back to the browser if i refresh it's giving me the same result 
So now let me explain you what is happening. Always remember whenever you use any kind of variable without declaration. So JavaScript hoisting will put all the declaration on the top of that scope automatically. And this will be done behind the scenes. Line number one, this will be done automatically by Java hoisting behind the scenes. Automatically behind the scenes. Okay, let, uh, let's make it uh, a little more interesting. var x equals to 25. Let's put this inside some function. Function uh, my func. I love to use camel case whenever I write JavaScript code. Make it pretty. On line number 9, I have to call this function my func so let's see what's going to happen refresh undefined interesting if i go back now this variable has been defined and initialized inside a local scope which is a function scope now it does not belong to window object anymore so that's why it says undefined. So if I remove window, it will start working as it's supposed to be. Refresh and 25. Okay, so now let's uh, make it a little more interesting. Uh, let's suppose I declared another variable var a. I think I should use the same variable name. Okay. Global scope. I'm going to alert this variable inside the function. So whatever is defined outside the function is considered global this variable will be accessible inside this function however it has been declared on line number one but i'm using it inside the function on line number four so i'm going to call this function on line number six refresh again the same output okay so now let's go back and uh, go a little deeper Okay, so on line number six, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare this function inside, declare this variable x inside the function x equals to function scope. So if I go back and if I refresh, so this time it says undefined. Interesting. If I go back, so why it says it's undefined? Always remember the declarations are hoisted. Declarations are always hoisted. But not initialization so right now this variable is inside the local scope and it is look it is behaving as a local variable right now why because uh, I declared this variable on line number nine and I also initiate initialize this variable with this value let's let me remove this var let's note uh, let me make it global right now it's it will act as a global variable without the var keyword 
global scope it's giving me global scope okay so I think I should alert this uh, one more time right after line number nine so obviously now it will uh, display global scope as well as function scope global scope and function scope pretty simple okay so on line number 10 on line number 10 I'm gonna declare this variable So what's gonna happen now? Line number seven will output undefined, and line number eleven will output function scope. Why? Because uh, this variable has already been defined over here. It has been already hosted over here behind the scenes. I mean, if I remove it. The JavaScript engine will automatically define this variable on the top of uh, this scope, line number six. And after defining this variable, the x will, the value of x will be definitely undefined. I mean, if I write var x here, it will still behave the same way. On line number 7, it will print undefined. On line number 11, it will print function scope. Undefined and function scope. So, as I mentioned over here, the declarations are always hosted on the top, but not initializations. The variable has been declared on the top on line number 6. It alerted the value. Uh, which is undefined it doesn't contain any value because uh, I just declared it over here so now it's it's uh, acting like a local variable a functions variable okay so on line number 10 I assigned it some value value which is a uh, function scope and on line number 11 it gave me the output function scope so this has been done automatically behind the scenes if I remove it doesn't matter it will do the same thing the output will stay the same because the line I, I just remove it has already been done behind the scenes by JavaScript refresh global scope and function scope why because it again became the global variable var x so now it will act as a local variable refresh undefined and function scope perfect okay so it's not a good practice to use some some variable or function without declaration I would suggest you to put all of your declarations on the top in the specific scope in which you are working I mean if you are working in a function scope you you must declare your variables on the top and if you are working in global scope or window scope the same way I would suggest you to put all of your declarations on the top of your script that's the best practice okay so now let's uh, come towards the functions as I mentioned earlier this fu this function has been defined globally so it also belong to window object now what I mean to say is uh, let me put an alert box inside the function function is being called so if I call this function this alert box will appear so as I mentioned earlier my function now belongs to window object so I can either write window dot my function refresh working function is being called so now let's do something more interesting let me uh, delete this line and uh, paste it on line number four
if I refresh function is being called why because uh, I just I just mentioned that all the declaration of variables as well as functions are hoisted on the top automatically so this function has already been defined at the top so that's why it is allowing me to call it on line number five and it is giving me the expected result okay so now let's uh, let's make it a function expression my func and so now think about it what's going to happen over here if you read this line carefully you can decide by yourself what is going to happen now i think you got the right idea what i'm going to tell you now okay so it's a variable i just de declared this uh, variable and assigned it some function this variable has been initialized with some function so the variable declaration as well as the function declarations are always hoisted but in this case i'm assigning this function to this variable so the assignments or initializations are not hoisted so this will give me an error i'm going to remove this window And if I refresh, there is no output because it's an error. If I go to console, here's the error, unquote type error, which says my func is not is not a function. Perfect. Why it's not a function? Because uh, it has, because uh, I'm using it, I'm calling this function on line number five, on line number seven, I'm assigning this function to this variable, which is my func. And if, if I call this function on line number 12, it will work. Function is being called. So in short, what I'm going to tell you is function expressions are not hoisted, unlike functions. But the variables as well as functions are always hoisted in JavaScript. So hope you like this video and if you get stuck somewhere and if you are not getting the idea what I tried to explain, you can come back to me and uh, I'll try my best to explain you. Alright, so you can join my group on Facebook or uh, you can leave a comment. Furthermore, if you like my video, you can uh, just uh, give me a thumb up or you can, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Because uh, if you subscribe to my channel, you will be getting all the updates whenever I will upload any kind of video. Alright then, take care. Bye-bye.